When it comes to our Great Lakes, you may not want to think about where everything goes that you flush down the toilet. Billions of gallons of raw sewage end up in the Great Lakes, so every year leading to high E. coli levels at our favorite beaches or dangerous algae blooms in places like Lake Erie. And the problem is aging infrastructure. But there's a new push to change that, and it actually starts not at a Great Lake, but at Lake St. Clair. Nick Monticelli shows us what's being done. You guys can get a good visual over here. The tunnel comes in um, kind of where my lights at and then splits into two different chambers. This is a tunnel about 60 feet below the Chapaton pump station in St. Clair Shores, bringing sewage and stormwater for treatment. But there's only a heavy flow of water when it's raining. During the rain events, as it starts raining, we'll pump as much as we can down for treatment. Steve Rizicki with Macomb County Public Works gave us a tour of this pump station, a treatment facility creating what's called combined sewage overflow, treated sewage and storm water to be discharged into Lake St. Clair, but rarely and only if absolutely necessary to prevent flooding. Otherwise, we'd flood every basement in St. Clair Shores. This station treats raw sewage and storm water from most of St. Clair Shores and all of East Point. Watch your step when you're walking through this door. The treatment is highly scientific, but simply described. The three tanks you see behind here are sodium hypochlorite. Um, we Which in layman's terms? Bleach. Bleach. <laughs> yep. It's really high strength bleach. <laughs> Underneath this massive parking lot is a massive tank where the combined sewage overflows or CSOs are stored. And during extreme events where they are reaching capacity, this open air canal can hold an additional three and a half million gallons. It's the last resort. If this fills up, they're forced to open these gates and discharge into Lake St. Clair. Because there's been many events where we fill this and it stops raining and it's okay, we don't have to spill. This, this three million gallon, three and a half million gallons here has saved us. I, countless times. And even though it has saved them, Candace Miller, Macomb County's Public Works Commissioner, says it's not enough. They're permitting us to treat sewage and dump it into the lake. We don't want to do that anymore, and we are very focused on stopping it. Starting next month, this boat launch on Nine Mile near Jefferson will close for two years, constructing a much larger open air canal to hold even more CSOs. And on Beaconsfield near Nine Mile, construction is already underway on an 11 foot sewer pipe installing a rubber weir. This animation shows how it works during a heavy rain event. The weir is inflated, holding untreated water upstream in a section of the pipe that doesn't fill as fast. The weir can then slowly be deflated and send the waste to the wastewater treatment plant in Detroit. The county believes those projects, along with upgrades to the pump station itself, will cut discharges into the lake drastically. In another year or so, we were, are going to have reduced our CSOs in our major retention basin here by uh, 70 to 80 percent. Right. And I'm telling you what, that is a win, a big win. Who is the winner? Obviously, the residents uh, here that uh, in Macomb County, the biggest winner, Lake St. Clair. It's a balance between preventing basement flooding and dumping into our water supply. But Miller wonders, is there enough political will to spend the money on upgrades to stop sewer discharges completely? It's amazing what Mother Nature can do to heal herself so quickly, so rapidly. But if we really overwhelm her ability to heal herself, uh, then that's on us. In St. Clair Shores, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Yeah, and unfortunately, sewage runoff is not a problem unique to Macomb County. It's an issue across the state. So it's up to local governments and communities to invest in their infrastructure to prevent unnecessary runoff.